Welcome to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you would like to know the price, simply click on the link in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch at Jazztime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Date just 31 reference 278383RBR white mother of pearl with diamond dial on uh, diamond bezel with Jubilee bracelet. I'm going to talk to you guys about the bezel, the dial, the case, the bracelet, buckle, try it on, and give you my thoughts. So let's go, let's start. The watch is 31 millimeters from my thumb to my index finger. Now, Rolex makes ladies. Date just at 28, 31, and 36 millimeter, this 31 being the midsize. Now, Rolex calls this watch material yellow Rolosaur, which is a combination of oyster steel and 18 karat yellow gold, which it basically just means this watch is yellow gold, steel, and diamonds, as you probably can see right here. All right, now it's 31 millimeters, and as I said at the outset, it's using a stainless steel case. And if you look at the case, just the case right here, the thing that holds the movement is steel. All right. Okay, now let's move on. Let's talk about the bezel. Now the bezel is, this is the highest upgrade that you can get when you're talking about date just, and that upgrade being diamonds. As you can see, uh, diamonds around the bezel, that's a, that's a circular thing that's going around the face of the watch right here. And that's also set with 18 karat yellow gold. If you look at the surrounds of the diamonds, they're uh, housed in this 18 karat yellow gold uh, bezel housing. Makes sense? And you know, Rolex only uses the highest quality diamonds and the uh, and natural stones. So these are all hand picked and hand laid to make sure that each one is uh, has consistency. And of course, it's set by Rolex, so you can imagine everything's perfect. And that also goes with the di uh, dial, which we're gonna talk about next. Now this dial is quite special. I'm gonna turn it in different lights for you. This is what is called a mother of pearl, also known as MOP. And what it is, is exactly as it sounds, a pearl. And if you see, I'm trying to turn it in different shades. It has, uh, it has like little parts of pink, little parts of green, little parts of white, silver, and that's because it was from a living pearl. Now Rolex obviously figured out how to extract the pearl and turn it into a dial, and I think that's pretty darn cool. And Rolex, this is the most expensive dial that Rolex uh, has. They don't have it a dial that's more expensive than the pearl with diamonds. Okay, at least for date chests, that is. All right. Now, if you look at each one of these diamonds carefully and you take a look at it with a loop, you'll no also notice that it, of course, is perfect, and that's a very expensive upgrade in itself. And they're housed, and if you look even more carefully, they have 18 karat yellow gold housings to house the diamond in each one. So it's really a work of art. And if you notice, the hour and minute hand are also made of 18 karat gold. I mean, this is a very precious watch, as you probably can see from here. All right, so let's move on and talk about the movement. Now the movement was updated. This the, this watch actually is also updated. It has a reference number 278383. The old reference number 178383 had the older movement and slightly different uh, case. This is the 2020 version and it has a caliber 2236 with a precision of plus minus two seconds a day and a power reserve of 55 hours. And since you can't really see it and I'm showing you this, uh, Right here, you can't really see the movement. It doesn't really matter too much. It's more precise than the old movement and it has a slightly longer power reserve. That's what you probably should take home. So if you're trying to decide between the old and the new, well, you know, that's the benefit of going with the newer version, all right? Now the bracelet is a Jubilee five-piece link. As you see here, it has yellow gold going down the center and stainless steel on the outside. And it also has a concealed folding crown clasp it closes just like that. The only downside to having a concealed crown clasp as opposed to the, as opposed to the oyster or jubilee rather than the oyster is you cannot size the bracelet any further. You see? When I turn it on its size side, you cannot adjust the bracelet. Once you've locked it in, that's it. 
Whereas on the Oyster, you still have like five millimeter comfort extension. So, but you know, the Jubilee does look pretty awesome and it's pretty cool that it's concealed. So that's another benefit to go in with the, the Jubilee. Okay, anyhow, uh, so that's it for the review. Now I wanna give you my thoughts. Well, my thoughts are that if, you know, if you can, first of all, if you can afford this watch, it's almost 20 grand, you know, then it's an excellent watch for ladies. And actually, it even kind of looks good on me. I might wear it. No, just kidding. But uh, yeah, it's it's an excellent size. I like this 31 millimeter. I think it's very uh, fitting for most women. It's not too big, not too small. And you can see on my wrist, it looks small. But you know, I'm, I'm a man, a very handsome man too, and very intelligent. But I'm still a man, and it still fits on me you know, quite well. So if you can imagine a woman, it would be a little bit large or at least like mid-size, which is what it's intended for, okay? Now, as far as like the upgrades on this one, I, I can tell you, you know, if you really want to go for the king of the heap, then this is it. You have a diamond bezel, you have a white mother of pearl. That's, you know, that's the highest upgrade that you can get. You can't get anything higher. You know, you could go all gold, but I want to I tell you, if you do go all gold, the price is like, you know, almost double. And on top of that, you know, it's more scratch resistant and you can't daily wear it as easily. So what I like about this stainless steel and, and yellow gold is that you can daily wear it every day. It still is, you know, the king of the heap but uh, it's still daily wearable. And what I mean by that is it's steel, it doesn't stretch, it doesn't scratch as easy, and it's not so in your face. So I really would say, if you could afford this watch, by all means, please go to jazztime.com, J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com, and buy it. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on the mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists if you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.